<laughs> Hi! I will be curling my hair today with my straightener. And I have this one here. It's a Remington Wet to Straight. And it's got this little majigger. It's blue. It tells you what level you're on. I'm on 23. And it heats up in like 30 seconds, and I love it. And I've had it for about two and a half years. So it's still awesome. It still works. It's still great. Love it. I will be using my Big Sexy Hair Spray and Play. Woo! Spray and Play um, Hairspray. That's what this is called. And two clippy majigger things. So the first thing I do is the bottom third of my hair to start with. I don't curl my hair using bottom third, middle third, top third. I do like bottom third and then I use smaller sections as I get towards the top because the curls will look better overall. So once I do that, I'm so happy I can bring my hair to the sides and nothing's left over in the back. That's so helpful when curling. This is really a good way to do it because then you can really get to all the parts in the back. Whereas whenever it's so short, they stick around in the back and it's really hard to maneuver. Okay, so what I do is I start from the back forward using pieces about that big. And what I do is I clamp and I twirl it and I just run it through and it curls. So, I don't know if you can tell, but if you can, it doesn't look like it gets curly until the very end. And that's helpful because whenever you have longer hair and you want it to stay looking longer and you want it to only curl at the very ends on the under layers so that you can keep the length but still look curly. Okay. So, as you can see, I have some curly curls on that side now. I'm going to work on this side. I had my hair dyed pink right there, but now it's like pink and it fades into bleach blonde. It was supposed to be permanent. Didn't really work out that way, did it? Did it? Bring all this forward. So. I don't like keep it in one big lock like this, but whenever spray, spray, spray. Okay. And then so this part is tricky for me. Um, trying to keep this hair out of the way whenever you're working on the layers above. So what I do is I get a clip or two. Dose clippos. Okay, I kind of clip them back kind of towards the root so you can't really see if it does kind of. So you can kind of see how it sort of keeps it out of the way. Like I'm not really going to be grabbing hair from that section whenever I'm up here getting some more down. So then I'm going to come about this straight back. Clip, clip this top hair up, okay, and then I'll get this layer of hair, bring it to the sides. It is a dang hard task, I'm telling you, it takes me a minute to make sure I have all the hair up this way and not mixed in with the half that I've already curled.
Okay, so oh, I think it's done. Yeah, it's done. It's done curling anyway. And that's it mostly. Um, I guess I can turn around and can see the back. Mm hmm Is that a good view? Is that a good view? I don't even know what it looks like, so I hope that looked okay. But anyway, um, I guess I will go ahead and say goodbye. Because it's been about a half an hour. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs>